What's going on guys? Welcome back to Raider World. So in this video, we're gonna be removing the oil coolant lines on the Milwaukee 8 engine. All right guys, so this is just a quick video on how to remove the oil coolant lines on the top of the Milwaukee 8 engine. I'm currently doing a cam chest kit install from fueling, and this is why a lot of stuff on the bike is off. All I'm doing is removing the oil coolant lines so I can access the rocker covers because I'm doing fixed push rods. So I wanted to make a quick video on how to do that in case you guys had any questions or wanted to see how it's done. Other than that guys, let's get to it. So before you get too far into it, I do suggest you do a short video or maybe take some pictures of all your connectors and your fittings. That way when you go back to reinstall everything, you can go back to those pictures or that video and plug everything back in exactly where it goes. So first, I'm gonna remove the upper engine mount. I'll remove the screw for the stabilizer bar that's going into the frame. And then I'll remove the two lower screws on the bracket that are going into the head. And for these screws, I'm using a 916 socket. So now I'll disconnect the knock sensors, but first I'll remove the horn. Now you don't have to completely remove the horn, you just have to disconnect it, but I'm just getting it out of the way so I can show you where the knock sensors are. And to remove the horn assembly, I'm just removing these two screws and they're a 916 socket. Now here you have your cable for your horn. Just pull it out of this retention clip. And you have your two connectors up here and you can just pull those out. And here you have one more retention clip and I'll just use a plastic prying tool to pry it out. So here you have your front and rear knock sensor and then your connectors are up here. Now you only need to disconnect them right here. So to disconnect your knock sensors, just pull back on the clip here to get it off the mounting plate on the top so it's free. And then you have this gray retention clip it's currently in the lock position. You just want to push it up. You'll hear it click. And once it's all the way forward, just push up on that gray clip and your connector will slide out. So now I'll disconnect the two fuel injector connectors. You have a gray connector towards the front and a black connector towards the rear. Just push on this clip here, and it'll pop right up. So now I'll disconnect the two automatic compression release valves or your ACR valves. So if you're wondering what these ACR valves do, they just reduce the strain on your motor when you're starting it. Just helps the engine to turn over easier, which results in less wear on your starter and battery. So when you're starting your engine, these valves will open, and then after your bike starts, they'll close to restore the full compression. So you have a clip here, just pull down on that, and it'll pop out. I'll disconnect the two left side spark plug wires. So now it's time to disconnect the coolant lines, but before I do that, I'll prep the area with some rags and some pig mat in case I spill any oil. So the front down tube goes down here, and then you have a clamp. So here I'm just using a pair of flexible hose clamp pliers. Just makes it a little easier to get these clamps off. So for this rear down tube, the manual does say to disconnect it down by the transmission fitting but it's a little easier to disconnect it right here. So now that I have the front and the rear down tubes disconnected, I'll disconnect the manifolds for the front and the rear. Now the manifolds have two screws and I'm using a 3-8 socket. So the two screws for the front manifold are a little hard to get to because of the coolant line, so I'm using a smaller ratchet. So once you get the screws loose enough, I would just use a wrench to get them out the rest of the way. So now that I have everything disconnected for the coolant lines, I'll get all these connectors out of the way and then pull them out. 
So as soon as you pull the manifolds out, you will have some oil come out. And then just slowly work them out. You don't want to damage them. All right, so that wraps it up for the oil coolant lines on the Milwaukee engine. In order to access the rocker covers, it's a pretty simple process if you follow those steps. It is a pain to get those down tubes to disconnect, but once you break that adhesive, they'll come right off. Also, those screws in the front for the manifold, it is a little tight to get in there just because that fixed oil coolant line, but if you use a smaller ratchet, you can get in there and get those out. Now there is another method you can use by just disconnecting the front manifold and the rear manifold and leaving those down tubes connected and then just drop your oil coolant lines down in order to access the rocker covers. But I just decided to go ahead and remove them completely so you guys can see how that's done. If you guys want to check out the video for the fueling cam chest kit that I'm doing on this bike so you can see the rest of what's going on in here, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Other than that guys, I'll see you on the next one.